Hello everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here, of course, in TNO, or the New Order, the last days of Europe, playing as Vyadka. So last time we kind of hung out, we had some successes, we had some not so much successes when we were raiding, but right now we are trying to, or we will be scavenging for loot, which I think is probably always, always, always good to do. We are trying to fund new agricultural methods, which is good, and we've got quite a few comments to get through, but let's let time go on just a little bit so we can get through our focuses, which does take a little bit of time to get through. So, uh, I actually have one of the subscribers who's, you know, watched the last video or knows a little bit about TNO. He gave me a little bit of a list to go through with whatever we choose. Right now we're trying to, for our focuses, I mean. For our focuses, we have a little list I'm going to go through. We're currently doing more extreme measures, which decreases our popular support, but increases our economic strength by a little bit. And we do get some more political power. Has Burgundy finally done it? Oh. Their HQ in Zurich has notated a seismological event. Ooh. Gods, I will, I promise everyone here, I will eventually play Burgundy. God help us all. Because that sounds like a lot of fun. I don't know what happens, I don't know what they do. I know it's led by a certain dude, but uh, other than that, I don't really know it too much. So, after we did this, I'm going to go ahead. So I asked you guys yesterday whether we should do Imperial Potato Act or Alternative Uses. This looks pretty good. Honestly, both look really good. So uh, what we're going to do, we're probably just going to go with Alternative Uses for now. With a burgeoning alcohol industry build up, we can now turn toward making another use for the byproducts of the distillation process. Though it is hard to believe alcohol has other functions besides making people drunk. It's in its pure non-consumptive -consum uh, forms. It's usable as a disinfectant, antiseptic, and to don't. Within Russia, there, where violence abounds daily, it is its value is evident. I'm sorry, I cannot speak. At the cost of alcohol productivity, we can construct new laboratories adjacent to our newly minted distilleries. Our workers can, can then use these to make pure alcohol for medical purposes. We can use the results to treat the wounds of our soldiers, which they will occur on the battlefield, and reduce the rate of infection and dirty wound deaths. Using trade, we can sell these to other Russians. The profit influx can then fund our armies and our efforts to re-industrialize Vyatka. And maybe, just maybe, warfare in Russia can be more civilized for once. It is the Emperor's end goal, and after all, to make Russia at peace with itself. Honestly, with this, when it says we can build, like, industries next to, like, have the laboratories next to the distillery, I'm thinking I want to play some, uh, like, Tropico, even though Tropico is not, like, Hoi 4 or even anything like that, but that's okay. Uh, factory output, that's not worth it at all. Construction speed, uh, it's only 35 days, and honestly... We're really not trying to build that much up right now. Ooh, economy. Oh, it's unavailable because we are a warlord. Ah, oh, yeah. You know me. I love me some warlord. Ooh. And we only have two factories, so it really doesn't matter that much. We are negative 20-ish out of 1080. Uh, 10, 800. Wow. Holy crap. Yeah, doing that would really not do anything for us. Uh, we do have a couple other comments that we need to get through. Do we have any other decisions besides that stuff? Raiding, looting, which would be fun. Peaceful Unification Pledge, yeah. I'd love more stability, but not at the cost of war support right now. Uh, infrastructure, I don't like... I, I don't mean... Uh, I would like to, like, help everyone else. Yeah, I, liquidate state assets probably would be a good thing to do. Yeah, I'm not going to purchase stuff here. Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, a couple one, a couple comments. Is it plays Japan eventually. Uh, cool, look at that manpower. Even the game looks like it's lagging just a little bit. Whatever. Uh, yeah. I will play as Japan eventually. In this. Honestly, with this camp, with this mod, I'm planning on playing a lot of nations, including eventually as Tricky Dick here. I love Tricky Dick. He's he is a dude. He is a definite dude. Uh, let's see. Definitely plays Japan, and there was it Operation Forty Four. Sounds like a great time. I want to play as Republic of China too eventually someday. Other Russian, you know, states here. I definitely want to play it sometime. I might even play as the Commissariat Ostland because they're actually out of all the Commissariats, they're actually not terrible apparently. They are, they're somewhat stable, which is kind of surprising. Does Finland have a focus tree yet? I mean, with this mod and the developers, I'm, I know they're working very hard on this, and they're going to make it great. Eventually, I do probably will play as England. I'll probably play as the French state. I am absolutely going to play as Burgundy someday. But, let's find new markets. After previous extensions to the production methods of our vodka, we have now more alcohol than anything else. Our merchants and traders cannot sell these to the Russian market. Doing so would in in inundate it, sending our hard-earned profits down the drain. The Emperor and his government are looking abroad to solve this, as solutions to Russia's problems do not necessarily lay in Russia. In the years following the West-Russian War and the OFN embargo, the black markets of Brittany have grown and then swollen as luxury goods such as alcohol and films become scarce. The government with imperial assent suggests that the time has come to reach into this foreign business. Although it probably won't sell as well as in Russia, the thirst of Europeans for a new kind of drink should entice them to at least try it, whatever their racial theories are. Per perhaps the old emperor's old connections in Brittany could come in handy. Yeah, sounds like a really good idea. Ooh, we got some more deci decisions here. Uh, yes. We could raid the, the liberation of the peoples of Russia, which is over here, or the Aryan Brotherhood. Oh, the Brotherhood or these guys? Oh, that's the Mar, which we have to be careful of. Wait, which one? We have one up there. 
two down here. All right, so it's one of these two. Let's see, Intel, four to six divisions, four to six divisions, light infantry and Aisha infantry. We are right here, so right here. The umps, probably the Aryan Brotherhood. They do have more manpower. I would, what, what's the justification for that? Well, let's do this first. Only two research slots, so be it. Uh, it is 62, so military factor construction group. Uh, we could do that. Uh, retention, output, let's grab some more output first. Holy crap, that took so long. I don't like that. Oh, oh we have seven now. Aryan Brotherhood, oh, we can train workers. No, we can't do that. Oh, liquidate state assets. We lose political power, we get increased economic strength, which actually seems like a good thing to do. So what do we need this? At least one has not been raided the past 90 days. Uh, Order St. George. Full control of the state, at least one division. Oh. Where are these guys? Homie, we tried that before. That didn't work out too well for us. Uh, that's the order. This order up here, which we eventually do. I might play as them eventually, once we get a unique focus tree. Uh, the Tartar Republic. Or over here. We did this guy last time. Four to eight, six to eight. Honestly, this group probably seems like the best group that we have a chance for. Uneasy lies the head. Well, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Cool. Uh, I'm, you know what? Instead, we could raid. I just don't want to lose strength at all yet. So we're going to wait. I might try to get someone else. Uh, let's see. Because last time we did it. First time we did it against these guys, the Komi Republic, which we failed. Over here, the Islamic Republic. I love the Islamic Republic. I want to fight them again. Has at least one loot, but they don't have any loot, which sucks. Tartar. I really want to beat the Tartars. How strong are these guys? 3 to 10. You guys are actually looking not too bad. Um, you're only 3 to 10. Uh, you do have support artillery, but it is over a river still. Uh, I really don't like this. We could try it. We probably won't win. Whoops. I don't want to see the focus tree. Let's go this. Intel. 4 to 8. That's a lot of divisions, though. You know what? Just go ahead and liquidate our stat assets for now. Current strength of economy is low. Well, not for long. Apparently, you can't really change this unless it's through events and decisions, so... It is what it is. Whatever. Outdated research facility is going up. Great. Agriculture? Oh, that's not... Well, it doesn't look like it's going great. Right there, basic mechanizations. Looks like it's going okay. Industrial equipment's going okay. Not bad. What's up? An ultimatum from the Aryan Brotherhood. They're demanding that we hand over a tribute of loot or else. You will raid it from us and take it away from us. Go to hell, you pieces of garbage. We are at impasse to decide how many days we have until we have to respond. Uh, we might beat them up if they try to loot us. And then if that happens, if we win, we're going to try maybe raid against them. Uh, impasse. Risking your man's dying. We will not back down. Starts being a war, border war. We lose. I'm not going to lose. No, hell no. Go screw yourself, son. Go and defend wherever you can for now. I'm not sure exactly where they're going to strike from. Wait, how many How many more days we got? Oh, we got 10 days. Good. Go ahead. Get some more organization first. That'll be good. That'll be good. All right. Three, two. We will not back down so easily. And Oh, it begins over there. Okay. I'm not sure where it was going to begin, but that's kind of okay with me. Yeah, once we get our divisions in there, this is why I do not want to attack first. Oh, the U.S. is intervening in South America. Cool. Yeah, we should be able to win. This is good. Oh, they're throwing in more soldiers. That's fine. I might just begin a raid against them later on. No, we can only do it for them. That sucks. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm not sure it's really worth... It is worth looting, but I just... Uh... Is it just going to pop this back up? Yeah, it probably will. Cool. I'm pretty sure we'll win this one. It's not that bad. We have another division coming in as well. And we're defending against a river, so that's not bad. Igor Sakharov. Oh, Igor. Actually, I can give you a marshal. That's fine. Ah, uh, find new markets. Great. So we're going to stop doing this way just for now. As much as I'd love to. Uh, hub of trade. Ooh, increased by our poverty. Begin to slowly improve. Actually, that seems pretty good. White Army Traditions. More organization division. Attack. That's pretty good. Seize illegal convoy. It's not bad. A tingled web. The great game. Establish Okrana. Let's see. Okrana. 
Uh, let's do a takeover. Let's see what happens. As much as the Russian Empire was considered a third realm, we must avoid inheriting the second vast and cumbersome bureaucracy. Unfortunately, as it stands, we seem to be heading down that path. Vyatka's government is large and disorganized below the Emperor, largely the result of its impromptu establishment during the West Russian War. There is much overlap between several of the different ministries, and some positions exist which are either no longer needed or were wholly unnecessary in the first place. We must therefore work to untangle this web, formalizing the roles of the government and getting rid of wasteful excess. Once this process is carried out, the Emperor's government will be a well-oiled machine, ready to both accelerate our ascendance to power and manage the new territories we will inevitably acquire in the new future. 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 Words. Typical. Hard. Hello. I uh, hope that we can get some more loot later on. We should be able to win, man. I'd be really disappointed if we can't. I'm not going to attack Comey again. That'd be crazy. Speak on the radio. Increase our popular support. That'd be good, actually. Yeah, we're despots, which is fine. Yeah. If I do that, we can probably... We still can't do it, which is fine. Yeah, they don't have enough stuff in there. Oh, uh, I really don't like losing political power, but 0.87, that's still not bad every day. That's still not bad. Cool, hope you're learning a lot, dude. I really hope you're learning a lot. Hey, the enemy's defeated. Now on cleansing up some of the corpses. Political power and stability. And we got guns. I love guns. Can I raid him now? Oh, please tell me I can raid him. That'd be so cool. You know, let's try it. Why not? I mean, nah, we're probably going to lose, honestly. I should not have tried it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to lose this one. We don't really have the manpower for it. Or probably even the guns. Uh, oh, doing a well on guns, actually. Uh, what is this? Artillery or anti-tank? High explosives? Oh, this is artillery. Uh, as anti-tank, yeah. An offer refused. Decrease power. Oh. The protons do not... Oh, man. They don't want that. They might still be injured. Can we initiate it? We can only have one loot. Whatever. Things happen. You know. Tribute paid. Oh! Okay! So we threaten them after they try to fight us. I thought they would... We would have to fight them. Threats are sometimes needed to survive in the anarchy of Russia. I'm feeling pretty good about that. We might have lost political power because of other groups, but that's okay with me. I still want to beat up the Islamic Republic, though. Sorry, I have nothing against you Muslims down there, except you got loot, so... Train new workers. Ooh. Industry, research, schools. Oh, uh, which... Is it... I don't know. Is it better to focus on one thing at a time so you can get more improvement? Or would it be better to focus on multiple things at the same time? I'm not really sure. So with this, I am going to go ahead and choose... Maybe academic base. Let's try that. New schools. Oh, maybe new workers would have been better, but we could try new schools. So that everything is at least improving a little bit. I'm not sure if that's the way to do it, but we'll see what happens. All I know is I have a nice cup of hot coffee here, and we're trying to get through a tangled web. And... Come on! Boom! Alright, nothing there then. The Great Game. The Many Shades of Monarchism. That sounds kind of like fun. Rolling on the River. Increase economic strength. I like this. That mil actually military factory could be really good. Seize illegal convoys. Uh, our pride untarnished. Uh, I, I kind of want the Ukraina, Ukraina, just a little bit. The spy massacre and intelligence agency. Ooh, more stability, more political power. Uh, I kind of want that military factory though. I really do. Uh, I, I wanted that, but uh, mm, let me see. Look for new markets. Then do, do the entire Emperor Speech Street. Eh, we'll see. Wide Army Traditions. In centuries past, Russia's army was considered one of the strongest in the world. Its glorious triumphs were all known by all, and its defeats were far and few between. That changed in 1917. Incompetence uh, had seen... Oh my goodness, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Uh, see, what a mess. Oh god, that is quite the mess, is it not? Uh, I'm not letting time go on just so because it doesn't really matter. Uh, this all changed in 1917. Incompetence had seen our brave soldiers defeated on the battlefield and could not even... The intervention of the Emperor himself could prevent a disaster. While he was away at the front, treacherous elements within the government forced him to abdicate, paving the way for Bolshevik terror. Not even the valiant efforts of the remaining loyalists could stem the tide of corruption and decay. To make sure that the military situation that led to the strategy is not repeated, we will reinstate the practices that made the Emperor's army so great and amend our mistakes that, made, that led to its decline. Then our soldiers will be able to proudly parade through our streets and the heads will be held high, confident in the knowledge that they will be the ones to reunify their suffering motherland. We lose political power, but we get some army XP. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wide army traditions, a great thing. Uh, let's see, trinket pension, segregation. Oh, we have some segregation, cool. Police, can we change that? Police to anarchic, security service, data cohesion. Preemptive security, that sounds kind of fun. 
Cool. And we do have other comments to get to, such as this mod is very, very narrative focused or driven. So that's why we can't really do a whole lot of different things here, which is fine. Apparently, we can begin really expanding uh, once Germany has a little war. Oh, okay. Multi converts. Peace in the Middle East, huh? Italy wins Italo Turkish War. Uh, at the time of this recording, apparently Italy doesn't have an extremely fleshed out tree or decisions to make. I mean, this mod is still a work in progress, like all mods, so I, I can't fault them at all. Um, so, eventually there'll be more information, things to come out of, to do with, you know, the game, period, so. Which would be a great thing. I was actually originally going to choose Italy to play for my first uh, campaign in this mod, but after hearing that Italy might be okay to do, but maybe, maybe not, I'm like, you know what, we'll wait. We'll wait for an Italian update. Because... I would really like to Italy. I, what happened to Italy? Did a nuclear bomb go off here? I think a nuclear bomb came off, went off here. Why is it so close, though? Yeah, why is Sicily so close? I know there's supposed to be some sort of dam. The Atlant Atlantis, Atlantropa damming project. And that's why Turkey is more connected and Greece is looking thicker. White Army traditions, though. Cool. Uh, sees illegal convoys. Why not? Our borders with the Republic of Komi is home to a large enclaves of smugglers who operate in flagrant violation of the laws of His Imperial Majesty. The time has come to strike at these ruffians and teach them that we do not have the same tolerance of criminals as our neighbors. Checkpoints will be set up to search anyone suspicious who passes through, and the information will acquire from ones, uh, the ones. Oh, look at that, Turkestan. Uh, who are caught will be used to launch raids against their hideouts. Such firm measures will serve as an example to would-be smugglers and encourage those who are planning on setting up shop in our territory to take their business elsewhere. Once this unlawfulness has been stamped out, our legitimate Legitimate commerce will begin to flourish, and the goods we have impounded will either be destroyed or put to use, to put, put to more noble uses. Trying to talk fast and doing all this stuff is not, not super easy. Romania's looking pretty thick, though. I like that. It's a thick Romania. He looks like an actor. I'm not sure who he looks like, but he looks like an actor. USA defeated an American policing action. That's cool. Legacy of the King's Coup, huh? Well, we have no manpower. Oh, Romania does not have focus tree. Eric Koch severely injured and in Kiev bombing. Troubling news from a troubled land. Oh, good for him. Oh my god, he looks... Oh, holy crap. Ooh. Oh boy. Ah, oh, there's no focus tree. I really want to play... I hope these... All these Reichskommissariats eventually do get, like, focus trees. Because these look really fun. Like, can we, like, truly Lebensraum? Like, I want to Lebensraum for fun. Not, not, not to roleplay too much, just a little bit, but that'd be, that'd be kind of fun. I mean, it is TNO, so, like, why would you not want to live in Drown? So, this is general government, which, uh, it's, I, I don't understand. Is this, like, all Germans here? Do they really just get rid of all the Poles and put them over here? I really hope no, Nova, Nova Polska gets a focus tree adventure. That, that, that seems like a good country to get a good focus tree upright untarnished. Though it still remains a small at present, the Emperor's territory is one of the few bastions of civilization sanity within Russia. Unlike the petty warlords and bandits who surround us, we have a government made up of men who learn in the arts and sciences. Centuries of history and tradition stand behind us while they have next to nothing. We are the descendants of the nobility under which Russia prospered as a center of culture and science while there are des descendants of those who destroyed it. The splendor of the old is already well on its way to bring restored in Vyatka. And after that, we must work on spreading it to our neighbors. We have persisted and held true to our beliefs, even while in exile. And now that we have returned to our mother country, we must redouble that persistence. So long as there is a Russia, we will be a triple steward. God save the Emperor. Good, good, good. Now I want to raid your loot. So we're almost there for new schools. Almost there. Oh, we actually lose war support? Do we get more war support back? Yeah, we do. We get the war support back, which is awesome. Uh, oh, prepare a raid. Uh, can someone please raid me? Please raid me so I can fend. Speak on the radio. 47. Is that all we can do? Huh. We have... Oh, prepare, oh yes! Yes! We can raid against these guys if we want to. They have terror bombings as well, 3 to 5. We should be able to win. Prepare a raid. Because it, that's just one of our weaker neighbors. Sorry. If you want to come into my, you know, nation, if I can annex you as cores, I mean, that'd be great. I'd love to. They have one loot. Not for long. God, I wish I had more manpower, though. I really wish we did. Woo! Alright, go ahead. Oh, Omar Ali Saifuddin the third becomes... Yang Di Pertuan Angong of Agong of Xionan. The Tiger of the East roars once more. Bulgaria sides with Italy. The balance of power shifts once again. Because, oh, the Triumvirate faction collapsed. The Unity Pact is still there, but for how long? That is a scary Japan. That is terrifying. Oh my goodness. That's why I want to play the Republic of China and beat the Japanese up sometime. And then play the Japanese and beat up the Chinese again. I don't know. It, 
people are just going to hate each other for the rest of time, but that's okay. As long as we enjoy each other, that's all that matters, right? Cool. The sounds of gunfire continue to resonate in Russia. Good. Now, we should be able to win. I hope. I really hope so. We do get plus 10% more attack. The number seems to be going up for now. The toll. Even the pettiest authority can corrupt. Absolutely. If you want to read this, go right ahead. Uh, we don't lose that much stability, which you know could be worse. Nice. It seems like we're winning. Thank you for getting that loot, my friends. Thank you. Our pride untarnished. And we got more war support as, as well. Many shades of monarchism. Monarchism is merely a form of government rather than an ideology unto itself, and those advocating for it are as varied as their beliefs at Russia is in its vast territories. Yet, God's no exception. Those in our government are unified or united in their belief that the Emperor Vladimir is the rightful ruler of all Russia, but precisely how he should rule is another question entirely. Should he hold absolute power, or, he, or his every word treated as law? That sounds like fun. Or perhaps a body should be created to both assist... Hey, look at that! Assist him in his rule and provide a check on his powers, for even the most noble of men cannot be entirely perfect. Then again, we could follow... Welsh Unionist, uh, cool, whatever. Uh, follow the example of Italy, and integrate the unity of purpose and, and, and militaristic strength of fascism into our government. All of these forms of monarchy, and a great deal more, are advocated for in Vietka. Which one will emerge dominant, however, is a question that only time will answer. Great, look at that. All seeds, all that we can use. Treasure! Reclaim victory in the skirmish. Now, that, my friends, is great. Why are you leading? When we had the other guy leading other times. Were you the dude that I wanted? No. Uh, actually, yes, maybe. Yeah, you are. Please, someone try to raid me, please. Come on. Uh, nice. Treasure! Ah, oh, a relic of the past! Look at that treasure! If you want to read that, go right ahead, my friends. We have treasure. We're, actually, I feel like we're doing a lot better in this one than the, uh, the last uh, episode. Research facilities. Uh, let's go for workers. Let's try that. Cool. Speak on the radio or peaceful unification. Infrastructure, that's not worth it. Uh, increase popular support or decrease economic strength. I don't want to do that. Uh, speak on the radio, yeah. Increase our popular support by just a little bit more, which isn't bad. I don't mind getting more popularity because that should help out stability. Yeah, ruling party's popularity plus 8.7 percent, not bad. I try to speak through and read all the focuses really quickly because there's so many focuses. And I appreciate the devs making them like 23 to 35 day focuses, or foci, focuses really. Because that's awesome. That's really, actually really, 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 really awesome. Make it really nice quickly. Almost have another division ready. We just need a little bit more infantry equipment, which we're doing well. Hey, look at that. We have plenty of artillery. Matai assumes control of the Gulf. Oil is the lifeblood of the Empire. Cool. We've got plenty enough anti-tank artillery. We need a few more guns. We're great on motorized, and we're great on support equipment. All we wish we had was more manpower. Hmm. Big sad, I know. Big sad. And, oh, many shades of monarchism. Let's have, utilize the Okhrana. Every society has its dissidents. Those who wish to see the government fall and be replaced by one more to their liking in the old empire was proof of this rule. The Okhrana, the emperor's special police, was hunted, created to hunt down and deliver justice to those who would wish to see the destruction of Russia, but in the end it was not enough. When their leader was overthrown, an organization was disbanded, and soon after the tide of Bolshevism swept the country. But we can learn from the mistakes of the past. The Okhrana will be recreated, and the problems that led to their previous failure will be studied and rectified. Once again, they will be established as the courageous guardians of our just emperor, rooting out and punishing those who wish to see a repeat of the February Revolution. Solution. Then, only then, will the stability of the Empire be truly ensured. Nice! We get this Spy Master, which actually has its own little event chain as well. We need more guns. I need more manpower. But really more manpower. One, two, three, four, five, not bad. I'd love to make tanks, but we just can't afford that. It just costs too much. It just really does. APCs? Motorized. I, I wish it, if you just look over it, like it would tell you, like, oh, this is, this is anti-air. I mean, obviously, you can see that one's anti-air. Howitzers, artillery, I don't know. Maybe I, I just, I like, I, I'm, I'm very simple, if I can speak. I like to be very, very simple sometimes. Oh, scavenge for loot. Oh, you bet your sweet bippy we want loot. Scavenge for loot, please. Raid someone else eventually. Hold public speech, yes. Get more stability. Stability is so good. Happy 1963, my friends. Happy 1963. Hope you're having a great year. Only three more days. We get more recon, encryption, decryption, and less damage to garrisons, which is awesome. And we shall do utilize the Okhrana. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That looks, looks really cool. Next up, uh, People's Emperor. The Great Game. Within the halls of Yatka's many ministries, de deals are brokered around the clock. Alliances are made and betrayed. Promises support are even given and refused. Compromising information is leaked and officials are... Oh, crap. 
Well, they're not all crap, and officials are dismissed. The Emperor's government is a divided one, and barely a day passes without one faction or another attempting to gain his favor. Obviously, this is not conducted to his efforts to reunify Russia, but at the same time, cracking down on it would only serve to weaken his primary base of support. Therefore, all he can do is, for the time being, is politely discourage backroom deals and sectarianism, and bide his time until the position of Yetka is far less tenuous. In the meantime, the game will continue as it always has. Influence will be accumulated and inevitably wasted. Power will be gained and promptly lost. What will come of it in the end? Even the Emperor himself can only guess. Cool. And a spy master, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Suspect number one, Fyodor Vasilev. Cool. And time for more coffee. <sighs> you know what? I, I always feel weird about this. Illegal child labor? What if the child wants to earn money for his parents because they can't work? Hmm? Oh, Chernaya Rabota. Two suspects. Men like them have deserved to be killed. Oh. In the dark room, six gunshots were heard and echoed on the hillside, yet no one would learn of the fate of the men killed, aside from the perpetrators, who are always working for the will of the Emperor. Cool. Oh, Mad oh, Mad oh Madagascar is going nuts. Madagascar is actually a massive island. A huge island. Can't raid anyone yet, but we can unification with that public speech. Eh, we'll probably go for a speech. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, it... You thought Russia was Battle Royale. Madagascar is definitely Battle Royale here. German Madagascar. Do we put a lot of Jews here? Because that was like one of the plans if Hitler actually would have won. Like, well, Chaim Barlev sounds very... The last survivors of the European Jewry. Okay, there we go. The first one I selected. What was that? Confidential. This could be more important than it seems. If you want to read this, go right ahead. Uh, so we got the Jews here. We got Madagascar for Act Commissariat Emil Maurice. Cool. And we have Erhard Mitch Milch. Mr. Milk. Cool. And then we have the Republic. Led uh, by Gabriel Ramananto. Ah. Investigating the leads. Well, let's we'll see what happens. Do you want to read this? Go right ahead. Do we go there immediately or go to the warehouse? Let's, go, let's try to go to the warehouse. Let's see what happens. I'd love to read everything here, but there's just so much. I just we won't have time for. It. Ooh, Order of Saint George, they're fighting each other. Nice. Uh, what can we do here? We have one decision. Ah, we can go down there, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna wait. Ah, uh, the warehouse clues. Let's follow the trail. Ah, the great game. I love it. I love games. I'm currently playing one for the Imperial Council. For all his capability and virtue, Emperor Vlad III can't rule alone, especially in this time of uncertainty. Loyal retainers will be needed to help govern our territories and advise our dudes. Oh my gosh. Uh, he might not be familiar with, he, that's why he needs some guys. An Imperial Council will be established, and on it, the Emperor will put forth those who have proven their dedication to the cause of the Russian monarchism. Those will not be just any men, though, but the finest minds of the land whose wisdom is unmatched by none but the Emperor himself. Eminent figures in the arts and sciences, those who have dedicated their entire life to the city of the government. These will be in the men who the Emperor will be able to rely on when the toughest decisions must be made. They will carry out his will as steadfast servants, and should be his incap and should he should he be incapacitated, they will carry on governing in his seat until a full recovery is made. Political power, stability, great. Searching the residence, finally something concrete. If you want to read that, go right ahead. We have the same thing over here. Go ahead and read that if you need to as well. Oh whoops, oh crap. Oh well. Hmm. Let's see, what can we do? A vest of. Oh, a vest of nipers. Nipers? Nipers. When will the bickering end? I don't know. It always seems to be going on and on and on, and people are trying to kill each other in Russia, but what else is new, you know? Gotta get that big sip of coffee. Woo! The connection. Do we continue to search or alert the local authorities on the sabotage plan? You know what? Let's have a good time. How about we continue the search? I have no idea what's going to happen. Because I don't have time to read all this. Because I want to get as much in the video as I possibly can. Hmm. Public speech. We have 72% war, war support. Stability. I, that sounds really, really good. Yeah, I love it. More daily political power. Better division organization. Recovery rates. Research. Well, not research speed, but construction speed. Dockyard output. Factory output. Oh. An operative can be recruited. Uh, politically connected. Oh, politically connected. Why well, are you both politically connected? I'm going to choose you. Valerie, would you look kind of oof? Uh oh. He has fought to be. He has to be part of the spy ring. Oh boy. Oh no, we lost ability. Oh crap. All the things we worked for so far. Garbage. The chase. So we continue running behind him or split up and try to cut him off. Let's let's continue running behind him. Let's not try to split up because we, we'll make ourselves weaker if we do that. The saboteur is caught. Just as we must be served to all enemies of the state. That looks pretty good. Cool. 
Oh, we can still do the raid. Yeah, I keep looking. I keep seeing that. So, Yasuda Crisis. What falls faster? A man or his shares? Ooh. Tokyo Stock Exchange. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, I forgot Japan. So, apparently... Oh, the men stood by the sill calmly and waited their turn to jump. The Tokyo Exchange... Oh. Out with the crash. So, apparently, America's like... No. America or Germany is like either number one in the world for like power and in in industry or something. I forget. All I remember is that Japan's like third and they try to do a space race type of deal because Germany did that first or something. Moderate success for the planet. Sacrifices must be made sometimes. And Italy is fourth in terms of strength. Which is pretty cool. And also, Africa, if you didn't know, is split up into Rex Commissariat, Sudwest Africa, Central Africa, Iberian Union, and then Rex Commissariat, Ost Africa, with the Union of South Africa down here too. Or in Tree State, led by Sir de Villiers Graf. 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 I don't know. I'm not. Boer. Always another job. There's always, always another job. If you would like to read this, go right ahead. If you so please to do so. I just want to crush people. That's all I want to do. Mm. I want more loot, please. Please. More loot. And form the Imperial Council. This game is a little laggy. That's okay, though. Oh, look at that. Oh, white army traditions. I love it. More stability. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The People's Emperor, Imperial Detachment. Oh, daily political power goes down. We get more stability and production efficiency cap. People's Emperor, less a cap. More daily political power, more factory output. Ooh, let's see. Hmm. Divert funds. Let's see. Oh, I'll do the entire tree. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do divert funds to the military first. Let's do that one. So, to get, dedicating our newly acquired funds to the military is obviously a great choice. They are the ones who keep our great land safe, and without them, we would surely descend into warlord barbarity or worse, Bolshevism. King Farouk is dead. No, no one cares. With more resources at their disposal, will come better pay and more supplies for our soldiers, weapon chief among them. Lesser, however, will be the reaction of our subjects as outside the armed forces to this decision. To many of them, the military is a coldly distant institution, and in their short-sightedness, many of them may simply see it as the taking away of what? Oh my gosh. Um, taking away what could easily gone to them instead. Some of the more radical elements in our society will also surely claim that we are merely expanding our tool of oppression, but they are a small minority. Nonetheless, we must go ahead, regardless of the pop potential unpopularity of this move, for the good of the Russia and her rightful ruler. We get military factory, decreases a little bit of popular support, which is fine, and we get some more industrial effort, which is good. I love seeing that green stuff, man. I love it. One does not simply forgive traitors. Vyatka removes... Oh! Remove... Oh, no, 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 no. Do I get... Can I go to war with them now? Please don't make me go to war with them. Oh, I can't go to war. Oh. Forced syncretism. Oh, they're fascists. You bunch of fascists. What are you doing? You hurt me. Why must you hurt me? I can't... Seriously, can I go to war with them? I want to take them out right now. It was a betrayal. Like, why can't we? Why is this so low compared to everything else? Oh, that's because we got, like, one of the focuses gave us a lot of equipment. That's why. Duh. Why is... Oh, Norwegian. They are Rex Commissariat, especially their stuff up there. Yeah, England seems very interesting in this timeline. Very, very interesting. What's going... Oh, Netherland. Oh, I remember that flag. That's I use that as a background for my Netherlands or Dutch campaign back far away in the day. Back in the day. An economy for Germany. King. Busy ports. That's good. No focus trees. I really hope this mod like puts so many focus trees and decisions and events for like a lot of these nations because this this has the potential to be an extremely great mod. It's a, it's a good mod so far, but still we need more time. Decrease popular support. We decreased po decrease popular support. Let's do it again in a little bit. So imperial detachment. I'm not sure which one to do. People's emperor. Let me know in the comments below which, which one should I do here. Imperial detachment or the people's emperor. Should we increase taxes? Because I think right now I'm going to go ahead and do. Ooh, let's do this one. Rolling on the river. The Vikings of the, the old ancestors, ancestors to the Romanovs, some say, ha have navigated the rivers of Russia from their sources down to the mouths of, for centuries. While they've certainly brought many things with them, including conquest and war, the government is interested in many one, one other thing, trade. By using river currents, commerce can flow faster on, than on land. Thankfully, in Vyatka itself, there's a river that will lend itself to this purpose. The Vyatka River, a right tributary of the Kama, sits beside the city of Vyatka, with a defunct port projecting into its depths. It flows from Ud Murtia down to the Caspian Sea, passing many cities and towns along the way. The plan is thus to reopen the wharves of the city, capital city and to inject into the Vyatka trade and commerce. With this, our vodka and goods can reach the down and up river markets, and one day maybe Vyatka would become a hub of trade itself, an ultimatum. Oh crap. Oh, hey, oh hell no, look at that. This is the group that just broke away from us. No, no, no. A billion times no. 
Let's attempt to get over. Oh, Madagascar is killing itself. We will not back down so easily. Oh, no, no. Vacuum tube. Ooh. Too malicious, I would say. Too malicious. Over here, it is not 64. Let's see that one. We have until when we can do this. Uh, I like to get more loot, but you can hold that for now. 10 days, that's fine. Are, are we up there? Go ahead. Try it. Try me. Look how weak they are. How, how would we not win that? Comey. Actually, scavenge, liquidate state assets. Ooh, an ultimate. Mm, we better win this quickly. Come on, win, 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 win. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm probably gonna make. We're gonna do this one. Increase economic strength, probably. The enemy's defeated. Great. Great. Uh, we could do Ord against Sink Dwarf. That seems like a good idea. But right now we're a little busy with these Aryan Brotherhood folks. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be up here. So, move your butts. Move your butts. We got nine days. We might just beat them up again. We need to get more organization first, though, so... Give it about a few days, and we'll do it. Woo! I'm feeling a lot better about this campaign, to be honest with you right now. Feeling quite a bit better. Three. Why is your organization not going up that fast? We need to do land auction, that's why. And, of course, it's... This game is actually kind of laggy. As it, the game gets more and more developed, uh, it's probably going to get laggier and laggier, but that's okay. As long as it's a good mod, that's what really matters the most, probably. All right, go ahead and do that. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, see what happens. Ooh, honest... <gasps> We have another division. Oh my gosh, we have actually another division. Oh my gosh, we actually made a division. How do we do that? How do we do that? Wow! Wow, 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 wow! Oh, look at this. Reunification of Russia, popular support. Uh, unification pledge, peaceful unification. I don't think so. Yeah, after this, we're going to raid. Oh, um. Where's the Brotherhood? I don't see the Brotherhood here. Liberation of peoples. Maybe we have to wait a little bit. Rolling on the rubber. Increase taxes. Decrease popular supports. Oh, it's very low. That's not good. We gotta wait, so... Let's do this one first. The establishment of a black market connection to Brittany has benefited us quite handily. Now we have an outlet for excess goods and alcohol we produce in our territory. However, as our industry continues to boom, we need a closer path to trade outside of Russia proper and account for Brittany's distance and risk. Thankfully, we can solve this quickly. Kostrama is in a convenient position, sandwiched between the Russians and the Germans and serving as a gateway from one to another. The porous borders presents the Russians that rule from across it a soft and easy raiding prey. We, however, have a whole another use for it. By utilizing Kostrama's access to Moscovine, we can reach the innards of the Reich and gain more profit than ever before. Though it is a distasteful move to cooperate with the Germans, this is only a temporary measure. The Empire will not long stand it. So. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have for today, my friends. If y'all liked today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we will continue to do pretty well for ourselves. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.